Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can integrate a Razorpay payment integration in our e-commerce application. But while doing the Razorpay payment integration, we got one defect and that is pretty small defect. So I just thought to create one new video in order to resolve that defect. So first of all, let me just quickly show you what is that defect is all about and um, what is the issue that we are trying to solve. So here currently I'm logged in with the user. So let me just click on the uh, view details and let me just click on the buy now. So let me just put some details over here to place the order. Something like this. And now let me just maybe change the quantity. So let me just try to click on the place order button. Let's see what happens. So over here we got one pop up. So we have to uh, like test this transaction. Let me click on UPI or QR code. Then let me just put some uh, UPI ID which is given by the Razor Pay for testing purpose. Let me just click on it and let's see what happens. Now over here it is trying to uh, like process the payment and if you just see payment is processed but now if you just see we got one message over here your order is placed successfully it will get delivered to you within the four to five business days. So this message if you just uh, remember uh, like few sessions back we uh, created this particular screen. So now what is happening is it is redirecting to the new page. So if you just see the address is changed in the URL bar. It is redirecting to the new page. It is showing the expected message also, but the old component, which is our uh, like bill component or maybe place order component, that component, it is uh, not like vanishing up. It is not removing that component and new component is getting shown below the old component. So this is uh, the defect that we were uh, talking about in the last session. So let's see how we can resolve this in a, um, resolve this defect. But before that, let me just quickly tell you what is the reason behind it. If you just uh, remember when we clicked on the place order button, then we got one pop up. So what happens exactly when that pop up uh, comes for the razor pay, then it basically considered as an animation. And when that pop up gets closed, then we it, it behind the scenes, it triggers one animation and angular is not able to detect those changes. And that is the reason it is not able to uh, like clear the existing component and reload the new component. So this is basically uh, root cause of that defect. So in order to fix it, it is really quick fix. What we have to do is we have to just go to the VS code and then let me just go to the app. Then let me just go to the by product uh, component. So let me just go to the by product component TS over here. What we have to do is inside a constructor, what we have to do, we have to just inject private injector which is of type injector something like this so this injector basically comes from let me just tell you yes so this basically comes from at the red angular slash core now the next thing that we have to do is we have to just come to the place order yes place order method on line number 53 what we are going to do is we are just uh, navigating to the new route over here so what we have to do is we have to just first of all use uh, this dot injector dot get. So we have to get instance of ng zone, something like this. And let me just store it inside the const ng zone, something like this. And what we have to do again, we just have to uh, use ng zone dot run something like this so run basically takes one callback so we have to use that callback so we have to just use something like this so and inside this callback we have to just put this uh, navigate method so let me just cut this line and let me just paste it inside the um, uh, ng zone run callback and now let me just save these changes and let's see what happens exactly on the ui now let me just refresh the application. Let me just click on view details by now. And let me just put some details again over here. Something like this. Let me click on place order button. Let me just put some UPI ID. And let me just click on pay now. Let's see what happens. And this time I'm expecting that it should go to the new page. 
yes now if you just see it is going to the new page and we are able to render a new component and our old component old component is getting removed as expected and it is working perfectly fine so this is very quick fix to the defect that we are facing so i hope you got the idea and i hope you got the reason as well like what was the issue so it issue um, that, that the issue was because of uh, this uh, payment pop up razor pay payment pop up and it is basically due to the uh, animation angular is not able to detect the changes and that is reason it was uh, loading uh, components in um, that way so i hope you enjoyed this small session and i'll see you in the next session